they squared up some balls earlier in the game, and then uh, and then he just got himself in some trouble the the, uh, the rest of the game. It just wasn't, you know, it just wasn't a normal Shelby Miller uh, outing, you know. And shoot, he's allowed to have that every once in a while for how, how good he's been. And and, uh, and so now we go on to the you know his next start. You know, you look at five and five record with a three ERA, and I told. I, I just love to look next to Kyle Seitzer. I say, hey, who's getting this guy? Because we haven't seen him, you know, and we got some pretty good hitters a lot. But uh, he, he pitches tough. I mean, in career, you know, you hate to, hate to look at some of those numbers, but you got left handers this year hitting him. And so we put five left handers in the lineup and dominates those guys. And uh, he's, he's pretty. He's, he's been rolling pretty good here the last five or six outings. He did a nice job. He really did a nice job. I'm, I was excited for him. Uh, here's a guy that it was a recommendation mm -hmm. from from uh, a guy, uh, Mark Connor, a pitching coach that uh, he had pitched for with the Texas uh, Rangers, and and we got him in the camp, and he's been terrific and good for him. And, and uh, I think his parents were in, in the stands, and, and it's uh, it's a nice out. He'll, he'll, he'll never forget that one. You know, we only used two pitchers out of the bullpen. I thought I thought Brigham did a terrific job, uh, allowing us just to let it just go with two guys. Uh, Kelly would be ready available tomorrow. You know, we didn't burn him, and we didn't burn the, the four or five other guys that we could have. Um, so, you know, he's the MVP of the team right now. The MVP of the game is, is bring him. You know, give us three solid innings.